Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Kaiga1234 uh, up here today with uh, uh, another video, same day. Uh, it won't really matter to you guys because they'll be uploaded on different days anyway. Uh, feeling a little bit better now. Um, I think I got over the worst of it. I'm, uh, I've eaten and stuff, so I feel a bit better now. And uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a game review. And the game we are reviewing is uh, Dynasty Warriors 2. Um, I don't know why I'm being a bit shaky. Uh, maybe I'm cold, I don't know. Um, yeah, so um, we're reviewing Dynasty Warriors 2. Uh, the first Dynasty Warriors game, in my opinion. Now, I know it says Dynasty Warriors 2, but don't let that fool you. Because Dynasty Warriors 1 is a PS1 game. And you got to think... The PS1 couldn't handle all of those enemies on the screen. Um, sorry, I'm just going to turn the heating on. Um, the PS1 couldn't handle all the enemies on that on the screen, so that obviously the PS1 game was a fighting game. Um, now, the Dynasty Warriors game, of course, most people have heard of Dynasty Warriors. What is it? It's pretty much like a one versus all sort of game. It's sort of like a mix between a fighting slash hack and slash game. The best way to call it is a hack and slash game. So it's pretty much you versus loads of enemies, just just armies of enemies, and pretty much you just got to kill pretty much all these enemies. And it's I've always been a fan of the Warriors games. I don't know why, but I just have. I just think I I love the sort of hack and slash in it. I've just really been a big fan of the game. Now, Dynasty Warriors 2, um, being the sort of first game, it came out in 2000. Uh, yeah, it's a 16 year old game. Um, I think it was a launch title, but if not, it was a very early title. And uh, to be honest, it's actually a surprisingly good launch title most games when they get a launch title of course a launch title has got to be the sort of what's what you're going to sell the console on you can't go out and make shit a shit launch title because if you got shit launch title what sells a console not the console it's the games isn't it it's the games but we're not here to talk about that we're, we're, obviously everyone knows the ps2 the ps2's done now obviously they ain't making no more ps2 games at least not to my knowledge, I don't know if they're doing homebrews, but I think it's very hard to do a homebrew for a PS2 game, at least in my opinion. Um, so, let's start off with uh, the graphics. The graphics in this game are actually, you know, it's an, early, uh, it's an early PS2 game, so the graphics are outdated, but they're not terrible, to be honest. Um, of course, the actual level design isn't great, there's not really much to it, but... You know, it's more of those one of those impressive games because there's so many enemies on the screen at once, and the game says 30 enemies on the screen at once, so it's roughly about 30. But by today's standard, that's nothing because if you look at Warriors of Rocky 3 Ultimate, you have just hundreds. But back in the day, back in 2000, that was a lot of enemies on the screen. Um, as for sounds, there's not really much to the sounds, your basic just huh, 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 uh, noises, and your your. Clinking noises and stuff like your classic comic sounds. Um, not really much voice acting in this game. The voice acting is pretty terrible. I think most of the voice acting is terrible. That's where they went over to Japanese voice acting in the later games. Um, the voice acting that you only get is mainly in the small cutscenes that you do have. Um, to be honest, that's about it really for the sounds and graphics. Now, gameplay. So, there's, the game says there's nine playable characters. And back in the day, that's what I thought there was, only nine playable characters. But they're wrong. The game, the box is wrong. There's actually 30 playable characters. Of course, the nine playable characters you start off with, of course, every time you complete a campaign with that particular character, you unlock a new set of characters or whatever. There's three armies, Wei, Shu and Wai, as always with the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms or Dynasty Warrior games, there's always three um major armies so obviously you've got the three characters from Wu, Wu, three characters from Y and three characters from Shu of course you unlock more characters as you go but there's five missions on each sort of army so if you choose Dion Y of Y you'll get the five um Y army set of missions and so on now the missions take about anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on uh, what you do, if you just run in and stuff like that. Um, 
so it takes you know the first two missions are the same for every army no matter what you army slash character you play as it's yellow, yellow turban rebellion and the um the uh battle of hulal gate as it's called yes i actually know the battles uh, most people probably don't um you want that Capri Sun tastes amazing, but I don't like the new design on the bottles. I prefer it when I add the, um, what do you call it, the straws in it. Anyway, yeah, so that's what you get. Um, now, obviously, each character, obviously, is different, but the only difference between the character, so if you choose uh, Lu Bei of Y or... And then, so, or even Zhang Fei of White. It'll be the same mission, but the only difference is you'll spawn somewhere different. That's the only difference between the characters of that particular army. But of course, like I said, different armies have the, the different characters for that army have different missions. And then there's five um, unlockable characters that you can use in free mode only, which are the sort of uh, two, uh, the four bosses from the first two missions. Um, and Lubu is just ridiculous to get because you have to get a thousand kills on the second stage of the game. Now, here's where, of course, in the later games, that's fucking easy. I mean, I in the later games, my fucking Warriors are up to three. I get a hundred kills within seconds of the game. But yeah, so so there's that. Now, what what really in this game? What a lot of the problems I'm going to mention have been remedied. Do bear in mind this it was pretty, pretty much the first game, it was made by Midas Games actually. I, I believe Midas were a, a budget developer, I'm not sure, but I'm sure they were a budget developer. And if so, that's they did a pretty good job with um what they did now. Of course, some of the like I said, these problems that I'm going to mention have been remedied so. In the later games, of course. Now, so, the first problem I find is that enemies in this game, they attack so fucking often. The normal enemies in this game will attack quite a lot. In the later games, normal enemies hardly attack at all. Um, in this one, they attack quite often. So that means the enemies will attack quite often, but so will your teammates. And if you can get your bodyguards, because you get bodyguards in this game. If you get your bodyguards to a high level, which is quite easy, they will just tear the enemy just fucking to pieces they're they're almost stronger than you are which is kind of ridiculous another thing that i find in this game is that when like i said because the enemies attack you so much if you get surrounded in later games you can just tear out like 20 40 enemies with like a few strikes or, or do moves where they just go flying in this one it seems like you normally just have to take the enemies um like one one on one so when you start attacking the enemy it seems like you focus on that enemy for some reason um in the later games, I don't really bother or fighting every single enemy I see. I normally just kill the um, the general and then move on. Um, but in this one, it seems like you have to kill the sort of um, uh, soldiers more, uh, which is kind of stupid. But again, it's sort of one of those early games, so it's excusable. Another annoying thing is that you get knocked down so easily in this game. It's so fucking annoying. You get knocked down quite a lot. Um... Especially by archers, they are probably the most annoying enemies in these games. Whether it be a crossbowman or a bowman, they just take you down like in one hit, and you just get knocked over, and it's just ridiculous. And you can't block these shots like you can in the later game. But then again, like I said, it's been remedied. And another annoying thing I find with this game is that the enemy generals, they have an, like an almost unlimited supply of items. In the later games, enemy generals, when you fight them, you just fight them. And when they lose so much health, they start running away. But in this one, they can do, like, regenerate. They can use an item to regenerate their health, give them extra um, power, extra defense. It's really annoying because it's like you almost kill that, that general and then it just regenerates all his health. It's so fucking annoying. It just annoys me so much. Again, been remedied, but it's just kind of an annoying thing. Now, Dynasty Warriors 2 has a lot of replayability. Again, it is just got a lot of replay about play we replayability, um, and it is still to this day a pretty fun game to play. Of course, it's a bit outdated by today's standards if you compare this to Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. Of course, the new one is much more intricate, much more moves. Again, 
can only do four moves in this one. It's the bog standard four moves. You can't unlock anything. There's no unlockable weapons. Um, the only thing you can unlock is characters in this game. That's about it. Um, but for its time, Dynasty Warriors 2 was a, a launch title. And was it a good title to get people into the PS2? I think it was for its time. Um, if you take your back... Take, Take yourself back to the to these days, back to 2000, and this game come out. Um, it probably would have sold you on the PS2 back in the day. Of course, by today's standards, the Dynasty Warrior games are oversaturate, oversaturated, and there's so many. So, you know, but back in the day, this was a pretty good game to have. Um, I'm, I always thought this game was two player for some reason, but it wasn't. It isn't, so um, I think Dynasty Warriors 3 where it got two player, but I never had that one as a kid. Um, but I, I think this game is still a pretty fun one to play today. It's not the best Dynasty Warrior game in any means. It's, it has a lot of improvement to do, but it has been remedied. Um, still a, a fun game to play. It's, you know, mindless um, repetitiveness at its best, I guess. Um, it's a hit or miss. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Some people don't mind them. Um, I'm in the love section. I know um, that's not going to be a popular choice. But um, I've always been a fan of the Warriors games in general. I just really like the sort of um, hack and slash and just the overall like just killing loads of people or KOing them as it calls them. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty... Um, it's still a pretty fun game to play today. And I think it's... Um, yeah, it, like it says, it's, you know, it, well, yeah, for its time, obviously, when it first came out, it was quite a big game, and, you know, a lot of people really, really enjoyed it. Obviously, today, today it's uh, a bit outdated and oversaturated in the Warriors market, but, um, you know, I, I do like this sort of Warriors games, of course, you know me. But, um, yeah, that's just, so I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give this game a, 7.5 out of 10 um, because even though I love the Dynasty Warrior games um, this one does have a lot of problems and um, some are not really problems but just annoying things in the game but I, I would I, I, I do forgive them because it was the first game of its time but um, and it's still a, a very fun game to play today um, a bit repetitive but like all of them are but, you know, you don't have any unlockable weapons or anything like that in the late games. But if you like these sort of games and you like sort of um, doing the same thing over and over again, you'll enjoy these games. And I know a lot of people go, oh, it's doing the same thing over and over again. But if you play Call of Duty, isn't that the same thing over and over again? Um, but, yeah, I know I can't really compare the two games. They're very different games. But you know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> So anyway, this has been another little my little review. It's my I think it's my first PS2 game review. It's um ironic how I start with a, a Dynasty Warrior game. Um, I'm gonna try and get all the Warriors games, as I said. Um, I'm gonna try and get all the Warriors games reviewed as well at some point or another. Um, so I just thought I'd do a review. Uh, of course, uh, I thought it's nice to do a little review. It's not the longest video, not the most intricate video, but um something i'm gonna uh write i wrote out my christmas list i've got fuck i've got to check the lottery um or my aunt will be moaning that i haven't sent her the numbers but i'm gonna do that now um freaking hell is that the time um yeah i'm gonna do that now and i'm gonna just write down some of the prices for the christmas presents i think i'm gonna spend so anyway i will see you in the next video i don't know what it's gonna be it might be a, a vlog video i'll let you guys know it'll probably be monday so um, I'll see you then. Take care. And of course, if you like the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know if you like the Dynasty Warrior games and if you do, what your favourite one is. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more and join the family. I offer a nice variety of videos on my channel. And of course, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.